Aloha from northwestern New Jersey. This is a beautiful campsite. I'm out here for a special occasion. I, uh, when I first got my teardrop trailer, I ordered it in 2014 and I received it January of 2015. I crunched a lot of numbers. I looked at all the trailers that were available, you know, and I came up with the best choice for me. I wanted something that was going to be cost effective, and, you know, I came up with some logic to justify my purchase, which said if I go out doing activities and I stay in a hotel, it's going to cost me, at the hotels I stay at, a minimum of 125 a night. That was the number I used, and so I took the, uh, price of the trailer which was 17,500 when I bought it like everything else they've gone up significantly and I divided it by $125 and I came up with about 140 nights I'd have to sleep in it to break even with what I was planning on doing I'm up to like 228 nights now 225 nights is 32 weeks or like seven months I've slept in that trailer and I'll tell you what, I sleep better in that trailer than I sleep anywhere else. I just love it. I met my goal. I uh, exceeded it. Now, you take the trailer, 17,500, and you dump in all the other stuff I have. You know, when I started doing this, <clears throat> the jackeries weren't available, these power stations weren't available, uh, the solar, you know, these types of solar panels weren't available. It was a whole different ball game. So I'm in the black, not only for the trailer, but for all the other stuff I use in the trailer. I mean, I've, uh, it all has paid for itself uh, to this point, and I'm not done yet. I have a lot more <laughs> to do, you know? I've got a lot more camping to do. It was a good strategic move. Um, some people, it doesn't work for. Only about 5% uh, of the purchasers <clears throat> get rid of their trailers and move to something different. Uh, most people do some pretty good analysis. You have lots of choices and they're good choices, uh, but no choice is perfect. And uh, it's pretty easy to compensate for the, uh, the choice you make. This trailer uh, has a nine gallon water tank and uh, that could be a problem for some people. Uh, it doesn't have an outdoor shower, yet I've been able to make all that work. A uh, propane powered shower heater and just hook that in here and uh, you know even put that into the bucket and you'll be able to take a hot shower um, in my case I've got so much gear that uh, I didn't really want to add any more gear like that you know the the heating unit the propane uh, all that hookup I, I thought I would just go simple but a lot of people love that and that options available and it's great if you need it you know so uh, my uh, system here is I have one uh, tub I may fill a second tub uh, washcloth uh, the shower, uh, the bucket water supply, and my oh. shower. Ah. No, that's good. It has, all, it has all the basic components that I need, but uh, my point here is when you settle on a trailer, you know, if you're doing like a runaway or uh, one of these small uh, square drops and uh, it comes with nothing you can provision that yourself you can put the water in the car you can uh, take care of all the solar yourself put in your own battery some of these trailers come with no battery no solar no nothing and you just get a box and you finish it yourself which is a great way to go if you don't have a lot of money while I have a teardrop trailer the gear is transferable I went out overlanding last week uh, I actually uh, soft roading I gotta get these terms right I was soft roading up in Vermont. I left the trailer home and I, I used all this gear. And it's transferable and it works just fine. It's good soft roading. I can use it in the car. I'll show you what I did. Actually, it was pretty good. I put the, uh, the refrigerator in the car and uh, that worked out really great to have fresh food while I was soft roading up in Vermont there. I left the trailer home this trip. I'm up in uh, Vermont and I'm exploring. And part of exploring is getting out on some of these roads that are just too rough for the trailer. So I just took the, uh, the Subaru and I did some suspension work to it, minor suspension work. The primary goal is to uh, find places where I can stay this fall uh, in September when the leaves are turning really nice up in Vermont. I'm gonna scope out a whole bunch of places for me to stay. So for this trip, what I did was I brought the, uh, the clam shelter and I brought a tent, and uh, these are my digs. Tub system held up okay. Living out of the car is not bad at all. The uh, Jackery 240 was able to power their fridge 
uh, along with the solar panel. And uh, I also charge it from the car. But I haven't had to charge it from the car, just using just the, uh, the Jackery and the uh, solar panel. A couple of tables. Mountain biking up here has been really good. It's been, uh, it's uh, woods roads. And uh, they're not real technically challenging, but they're muddy, so they're soft. And you gotta like, you know, get through it. And uh, that's uh, a lot of fun. It's good exercise. Really nice roads up here for this. Very quiet. Kayak I didn't use at all, yet. Tub system's holding up really good. They're see-through, so I can see what I need. I've got to bring a lot of clothing, uh, it's been cold. Got down to about 32. Uh, 32, 34, that's where it's been hovering at night, so. The cot's very good. I slept on it for several days and it was pretty comfortable. Uh, especially compared to the, uh, to the ground. Goes together very easily. Folds up nice and small. I actually went up to Vermont three weeks in a row. <laughs> I couldn't get enough of it, you know? I like exploring. I think Maine is gonna be next. But uh, it's, um, it's a good investment for me. I would advise you to, uh, to scrutinize. It's not obvious what's good and what's not. Some of the selling features, you know, uh, really are kind of gimmicky. Uh, do you really need a step for a teardrop trailer? A stool, in my opinion, could be a much better choice for, uh, for some people. Now, some teardrop trailers are pretty big, and I go along, you know, that, uh, that maybe you need a, uh, a uh, steps to get on top of them. But um, with a stool, you know, I can get on top of my teardrop trailer or on top of my car. Uh, I can get up into the, uh, into the luggage box up on top, the storage box up on top. Some trailer companies market, you know, attached tables and things like that. I'm way better off with a detachable table. I can use it all over camp. I can use it for a lot of other things. Um, when you pick your equipment, it should be multi-purpose. One of the biggest decision points in the teardrop trailer is, of course, the initial purchase price. But if you work out your finances ahead of time, you may find that it's actually beneficial. You know, um, the demographics on my channel are uh, age 45 to 65. Uh, something like 80% of my viewers are age 40 to 65 or something like that. And in that demographic group, a lot of people are focused on a retirement plan. And that, that was me. Uh, I wanted a plan that was something that would take me into retirement I could use for a long time. And I could sell, you know, later on if I decide to get rid of it. Uh, I've been offered more money for that trailer than I paid for it uh, last year, 2021. Maybe that's an anomaly. Nobody offers you more money for a, uh, an RV than you paid for it. That's very rare. But last year, things were so skewed. Uh, waiting lists were so long for trailers uh, that I was getting offers. I had three offers for more money than I paid for it via email. So that's pretty amazing. <laughs> you know, like 5000 more than I paid for it. So, uh, and they have a hot resale value. I look on the vestibule forums, uh, people are selling them for what they bought them for, having them for a couple of years and selling them. So it's, uh, it's a good investment right now. There's not many RVs you can say that about. Uh, my friend had a $120,000 RV, sold it for $100,000, he kept it for three years. So uh, it's, uh, losses are pretty minimal on it. And uh, you know, they're just great fun things. They're not for everybody, that's for sure. And it is weather. It's hard not to like one. We just have a crystal clear day today. I've got a pond across from me. I've got frogs here, birds. I've got everything that I enjoy. I do all modes of camping, you know, and I like it. Uh, I just can't get enough. Uh, the more nights I spend out a year, the happier I am. But uh, when you look at a trailer, it's easy to get hung up on a, uh, on a very small item. You know, should I get this or that? Or maybe this trailer is perfect, but it doesn't have some little feature. Or you want it to be perfect right when you get it, and you can't get it to be perfect, you know, because it doesn't have something. 
Well, you could adjust all for all that. Uh, it's not really a big deal. Um, certainly, trailer height something to consider. Your trailer height, in my opinion, should be as high as your tow vehicle or higher. And uh, keep that in mind. You, know, you may get another vehicle later. You have one vehicle now. You may get another later. Heights change. That's always good. More height is good. Um, water. A lot of people get trailers without water. They just make do. They, they, they bring water containers. They put a little pump here. Uh, a good number of people do this more than you would think. Um, I get a lot of calls and I get a lot of emails and uh, from people who are getting a trailer and they want to talk about it and I'm happy to talk to them about it you know it's uh, I, I've been there you know when I started there was nothing there were no videos on uh, teardrop trailers when I started so I, uh, I decided to do my own to help people and uh, you can get by with all that you know I just took a shower I don't have an outdoor shower I just took a shower using the sprayer for my, for my trailer and there's lots of handheld shower devices you can get to shower. If your trailer doesn't have electricity, you know, you get some runway or uh, runaway or hiker camper or any of those trailers. They're perfectly serviceable, but they're Spartan. You know, they're 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 done. I just heard from uh, Marcia. She uh, she took hers from uh, Colorado to Georgia. I think it was a uh, it was one of those square boxes. You know, it's very inexpensive, and uh, she had a great time. You know. So there's nothing to hold you back. If you don't have electricity, get a Jackery. You don't have water, bring your water containers. I have a nine gallon water tank. That's not really enough to support showering and a lot of the stuff I like to do. So I bring 20 gallons of water in the car. It's pretty versatile. You know, it's, it's really easy to create a system that works for you. Um, you need more room and get a clam shelter. Uh, for me, the agility of the teardrop trailer is unmatched for what I do. I like to get out into very back country places. But here I am, I'm in a campground in New Jersey, uh, the most densely populated state. And I'm fortunate, I'm here during the week, there's nobody here. I have the whole place to myself, it's just wonderful. And I'm enjoying the May, you know, May, the month of May, where all the baby birds are out, they're uh, learning how to do things, the parents are feeding them. It's just, it's just wonderful, you know, having a great time. And the quiet is just so good. So you don't need to drop a bundle on a teardrop trailer or square drop or any other kind of a trailer. Um, you just need to uh, think about what you need and how you want to use it. And uh, storage, I use a lot of tubs for storage. This trailer, um, this trailer has more storage than any trailer I've seen, I've measured it. It, uh, it has a huge amount of storage back here, which exceeds most trailers, just this area. I have underfloor storage, I have uh, the headboard storage. It, uh, it really, uh, for my needs, for my needs, it blows away all competition. If I had to buy again, I would buy the same trailer again. As you move up the ladder, you get more features, more complexity, uh, and more to take care of. So uh, me, I had to have one that fit in my garage. This one fits right in my garage. But it sure is comfortable. <laughs> no regrets whatsoever. These are my digs. I kind of missed the trailer, though. The trailer is, <laughs> is really comfortable. And uh, this is comfortable, too, but it's a different kind of comfort. <laughs> you need help evaluating some features on your trailer just drop me a comment we can have a dialogue I, uh, I like to help people and uh, I don't like it when they make a mistake and I would never recommend something uh, because it's profitable or I had cut a deal with a trailer maker I have no deal with Vistabule I just like their trailer they treat me nice when I go there and I love them they're great their service can't be beat but uh, my opinions are my own <laughs>